morning, church. Good morning. Our devotional reading will be coming from the book of Daniel, first chapter, verses 17 through 20. The book of Daniel, first chapter, verses 17 through 20. As for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Now, at the end of the days that the king had said, he should bring them in. Then the prince of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar and the king communed with them. And among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Therefore stood the king. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and the astrologers that were in all his realm. May the Lord take a blessing to the readers, doers, and hearers of his word. Amen. Amen. May everybody please bow their heads and close their eyes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, of to forgive our debt to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And thine at the kingdom, and the Father, the glory, forever and ever. Lord, thank you for blessing us this we, Lord, we thank you for Pastor and First Lady, and let the world, the word of the Lord, be with us this Sunday. Lord, let us have a good, blessing Sunday, Lord. And for you, for you all came out to our service. Thank you all. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Amen.
thank God for the prayer that the young man prayed. Again, for the song selection of our children. Let's give them all a great hand again. Thank God for all of you and all our ministers. Uh, to him, a preparation brought confirmation to our text this morning. Amen. To him, a preparation. Raw confirmation to our text this morning. Going back to Daniel again and uh, we want to read Daniel chapter 1, we're going to read verse 3, 4, 5, verse 8. Verse 3 to 5 and verse 8. And the king spake unto Aspenaz, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain children, <laughs> certain children, and our children sounded more like they were certain children. certain children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the prince. The children in whom was no blemish but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge understanding science and such had had ability in them to stand in the king's palace in whom they might teach the learning of the Chaldeans tongues of the Chaldeans I'm sorry and the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which the king drank, so nourishing them three years that at the end thereof they might stand before the king. Verse 8. But Daniel purpose in his heart that he will not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuch that he might not defile himself. God has spoken. But the church said, Amen. Amen. And I want to say to our children this morning, be like them. And uh, again, the hymn of preparation that you did so well children, Daniel 
and his three friends, they broke the chain of Babylon. Yes. Yes. Come on now. Daniel stood tall in different countries have different cultures now. What is appropriate in one culture may not be may be an offense in another culture. For example, you shall never touch a person's head in Thailand. Because the head was then considered as sacred. In Portugal, you should never write anything in red, in red ink, because it was an offense. Hmm? Chewing gum is illegal in Singapore. It can result into a large fine. Our message today, Daniel and his three friends, illustrate for us how to live when we leave home and encounter new situations. Maybe somebody in here this morning yes, might be encountering a new situation. Yes, yes, one that they had not been in mm -hmm. before. But the hymn said, there is power. Yes. Amen. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Daniel and his friend had to leave mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. And they encountered a new situation. Yes. It's okay to leave mm -hmm. home. But don't let home leave you. Oh, come on. While this message focuses on focus especially on those children that are graduated from ground school mm -hmm. and they're on their way to high school. And those that graduate from high school, they're on their way to college. Yes, 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 yes. That's a new culture. Yes, yes, yes. In a sense. Yes, yes. Amen. But anytime someone changes our lives, such as new jobs, new house, new school, new stage of life. We fail challenge of our faith. And we must be careful about worldly success. Amen. Because that just may be a challenge to our faith. Daniel and his three friends. Amen. Number one. 
Your name does not change your character. Come on. Your name may have to be changed, but your name does not dictate your character. That's right. Yes. And now we must understand that. First of all, they changed Daniel's name, which was Belshazzar to Hananiah, Shadrach, Mishael was Meshach, Azariah was Bad Ego. Their food was house, which is vegetable. The king wanted to change the name of Daniel and his friends because to make them Babylonian in their own eyesight as Babylon people. But again, it doesn't matter where you go. Always remember home. Amen. 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 New name would help them assimilate into the new But Daniel knew what his name meant. And Daniel's name meant God is my church. And if you notice the hymn of preparation said that there is power in the name. And it said break every And those young men or young boys went to Babylon and broke every chain. God allowed Judah to be captured by Babylon. And he asked that they would take the best children from Israel. Mm -hmm. Children that were well favored. And Daniel and his three friends, they were all well favored. But your name should never change your culture. So what the king did, he fed Daniel and his friend the food that he was fit for himself and his young children. Yes, sir. And he fed them for three years, yes. hoping that in three years, my, my, my. by the food that they ate, mm -hmm. may change their culture. Yeah. But again, Daniel knew that God was his judge. Yes. And it didn't matter to Daniel how King Nebuchadnezzar never felt about him. Yes, sir. Amen. Because before Daniel left his home, uh -huh. his mind was already yes, made sir. up. Yes, sir. Yes. That God was. Yes, 
shall never, shall never be able to control him. And children, you will be tested. Amen. When you leave home. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And they will call young men. Listen, children. Listen, a phrase to you to describe them as teenagers. I know, I know, children, when you hear about the name Daniel, you may think of a man like myself, Reverend Morgan or Reverend Miles or Reverend Nathaniel. That's where your mind might be right now. But in this text, don't look at me or any other man, but look at yourself. Because at this time in Daniel's life, he was the same age as you. Between the age of 15 and 12 years old. That's, that's how those young children were when they broke the chain of Babylon. I want to say to you again to excel in life. You may have to leave home. But it doesn't how well you excel in life. Don't let home leave you. Because you may have to stumble and fall sometimes in your endeavor. Sometimes things going to get dark to you. But when things get dark to you, let your mind go back to your parents. How they struggle to get you at that particular point. And you think about how hard you have worked to get to where you are. And when trouble some time comes, let your mind run back. See, I came this far by faith. Amen. And it didn't bring me this far to leave me. Yes, sir. So it doesn't matter how difficult things may seem to you, let your mind run back to your parents and your friends and your church people. Amen. How hard they pray for your success and don't give up. Amen. Doesn't matter how dark things may seem. All we remember back home. You got a check that's still praying for you. Yes, Remember back home, you got your parents, your grandparents, your friends still praying for you. Amen. But when you get up there, yeah. when you made your accomplishment, yes, sir. don't forget. Yes. Amen. There you go. Don't forget how you got there. You didn't get there by yourself. Man, help you receive to get you where you are. Man. And when you have made your great achievement, don't forget about home. Right. 
Because when trouble comes, yes. you can't go nowhere else. Yes. Yes. Come on now. You can always come home. Sometimes it pains my heart. Yes. When I think about our young children, yeah. mm -hmm. how they left home and went to college, yeah. became doctors, lawyers, and whatnot, and forget about the church. Oh, forget about home. Yeah. It was through the church, mm -hmm. through your home where God got you where you are. Amen. Because God worked for you through people. Yes. Yes. Never forget. So Daniel vegetables and never said never children they ate his food and after three years they all came before the king for him to look at he looked at his children. And he looked at Daniel and his friends. Yes. And they looked ten times better than the children yes, of Babylon. Mm -hmm. And that's not all he did. When it come down to the education. Mm -hmm. well. Now listen. These young children. Between 15 and 12 mm -hmm. years old. Have to go against men like ourselves. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Highly educated men. Of the palace of. Never said never. Mm -hmm. yeah. He compared those children gift yes. that God had given them. Yes. And he put them all to a test. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm talking about great men of Babylon. Yes, sir. Never said never best he had. And it put those children knowledge mm -hmm. that God had given them against the Babylonian knowledge. And guess what? Mm. He found out that Daniel and his three friends were ten times smaller than the people of Babylon. Amen. I love the hymn of preparation. Yes. Amen. Break. Amen. Every chain. Because the all man mm -hmm. is coming. Yes. <clears throat> but shouldn't be like Daniel. Mm -hmm. Know from whom come your strength. So, when he found out how smart those young children were, he offered them everything he had in his palace. But as time went on, jealousy popped up. See, Daniel was a praying oh, yeah. Say that. young man. Yes. And uh, every day his mind went on mm -hmm. Jerusalem. And at a certain time, every day, 
his mind went on home. And he would pray a prayer. Saying Jerusalem. Jerusalem. How long I long for thee. And somebody heard him praying to the living God. And they went told never shall never that Daniel is praying to another God. And he called Daniel to speak to him. And asked him why they were praying to another God. He said that uh, you live in my palace. And uh, you sit at my table. But you wouldn't eat my food. Daniel had in mind made up yes. that God was his judge. Yes, I want to say to you children, as you move on to another stage in your life, yes, remember that God is your judge. Yes. And that same God that brought your parent to where they are. Oh, yes. yeah. mm -hmm. The same God could bring you where you need to be. Yes, yes, he will. So, King never said never. He told Daniel, if you don't bow to my God, mm -hmm. I'm going to put you in the lion den. He took Shepherd, Meshach, and Abednego. Yeah. If you don't bow to my God, I'm going to throw you in the fire. Yeah. Funny. Yeah, he did. Yes. He did. But those three young men told the king uh -huh. that if you put us in the fire, funny, yes. God is able to deliver us. If he don't deliver us, he is still able. Amen. So he took Daniel and put Daniel in a lion den. Children doing your high school and college. Sometime pressure is going to come. Oh, yes. You're going to feel like you are in a lion den. But I stopped by to tell you this morning the song that you sung to us break every chain. And I can feel a chain this falling. Hold on, children. Let God be your judge. Yes. And when he took Daniel and put him in the lion den, the king was so sure that the lion was going to eat Daniel. But God done something. God fed the lion before Daniel got in the lion den. He fed the lion food from heaven yeah. and put the lion to sleep. By the time Daniel got in the den, God was still already in there. And when Daniel got in the lion den, the lion was so caught up in sleep that Daniel took the lion jaw and made it for his pillow. Yeah, and I stopped by to tell you children that 
that the same age that you are, that's the age that Daniel and his three friends are. And God took care of them. He will also take care of you. They took the Hebrew boys and put them in a fire furnace. The king told the servant, I want you to put the fire and have it seven times hotter than it ever had been. And the servant did what the king told them to do. But children, I stopped by to tell you this morning, doesn't matter how hot the fire may be, Jesus is in the midst of your fire. And there may be somebody that right now feel that they're going through the foul furniture. But God, God is in the midst of your fire. You took the Hebrew boys and you put them in the fire furnace. And the king, he tossed and turned all night long. But early in the morning, he got up and he told his servant, I want you to open the fire furnace. The servant opened the fire furnace. And when it opened the fire furnace, the fire was so hot, I tried to knock them back. But the king, the old king, he got the opportunity to look in the fire furnace. He looked in the fire furnace, he saw Shadrach, and he looked a little while longer. He saw Meshach, and he kept looking. He saw Abednego, and he saw another man that he never had seen before. He said, I told y'all to put three men in a fire furnace, but behold, I see four in the fourth look like the Son of God, Jesus, 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 is in the midst of your fire furnace. I could feel the chain falling, I could feel the fire has gone down, but if Jesus go down, and your fire, he gonna make your fire feel like a pool when blowing in your hair. The Hebrew boy, they were walking in a fire furnace and praise God. Children, you understand and praise God to let you know that the Lord on your side doesn't matter where you go children keep your faith keep your trust in the Lord wherever you go he's going to make it alright may God bless and may God keep you is our prayer may there be one this morning May there be one that you realize that if you have to leave home, you got somebody that can still take care of you even better than mom and dad did. May there be one this morning. God is able. It doesn't matter what you are. 
or what you are doing. Doesn't matter how filthy you are, God can clean you up. So you are cleansed by my word. He said, come, whosoever will, let them come. God sent his son to the world, not to condemn the world, but through his son, you may have everlasting life. May there be one. May there be one. May there be one. May God bless you. And may God keep you in our prayer. We thank God for our little one candidate that we received through the Creative Bible study. Thank God for her. Amen. And we hope to baptize her on the first Sunday in August. Amen. Amen.